the Holiday Bowl in San Diego, California, 6 p.m. It's on FS1. It's another Fox Sports uh, bowl game. So they they kind of they kind of jumped in here. Well, I think, and I might be wrong on ESPN owning them all because Fox obviously has the deal with the Big Twelve, uh, the Big Ten, and the Pac Twelve. Yeah, those so are that, Fox, that might be what this is. Those are Fox conferences, so maybe bowl games between those teams are on Fox. Uh, Northwestern eight and five on the year, six six and one against the spread, uh, two and two against the spread in their last four. Utah nine and four. Seven and six against the spread, two and two in their last four. Uh, Utah is a seven point favorite. It opened at seven and a half, and the total has gone up to 46. It opened at 45. I was a little surprised that it was this high to begin with for Northwestern. The total? No, no, the uh, spread. The spread. Yeah, oh, I'm shocked. I think, I think this number is wrong. The, uh, the metrics have got Utah minus 7.29. Uh, I, I think a, that's wrong. In a total of 41. I, I could be dead wrong on this. Tyler but, Hundley is supposed to be back. Yeah, I I think – I don't know that that changes too much. I think this Northwestern team is tough. I, th- I think they're a tough football team, and I think they're going to show up to play in this game. You might I, be right. I think this is about as dead even as a game as we're going to see. I, like I said, I've been wrong before. Big wrong. But but I think the metrics are awful here. I think this is a it's, pretty no, it's, even game. It's tough to get metrics on Northwestern, right? Like if you want to look at Northwestern, four point seven six yards per play. That's one twenty third in the country. Uh, defensive yards per play five point five two. That's fifty fourth in the country. Like they only scored twenty three point seven. That's one hundred seventh in the country. Uh, twenty three point five points per game given up on defense. Fortieth. Like nothing about them says. This is a great team, and nope. yet they eight and one winning. in the Big Ten. Yep. Like they always cover as an underdog. I mean, they they just they, they always seem to. At least in the Big Ten, uh, they did not cover against Notre Dame early in the year. Uh, I don't know, man. I I am so back and forth on this one. I, I literally haven't made a pick. I'm just going to make a pick on here. Uh, I think there's a lot of people on Northwestern, and. While I love our Westlot Pirates boys. I don't know anybody that's on Northwestern, though. That's, like, oh, the, the majority of the, the spread the money friends, is on Northwestern. Even though the line hadn't moved at all? No, it moved from 7.5 down to 7. But it's, that's a, a majority is, you know, it's like 58% 50, 51, on... 51% the majority. So okay. 58% of the, the, the money is coming in on Utah. Or, sorry, on, uh, on Northwestern. Which is why the line dropped down, right? So I don't think the Sharps have actually bet this one yet. I'm going to go with Utah here. I, I like Tyler Hundley coming back. I think their offense is is better than Northwestern's. Uh, I just, you know, it's just a gut feel here. That's fine. You like might a, be right. I think this is an even game. You give me seven points to start the game. I, I think this is going to come down to a field goal, a last possession, and there's no doubt in my mind Northwestern could absolutely win this game outright. I I'm going to go under the 46. And I'm going under 46. Yeah. So we're, we're both going under the 46. Um, but I, I'll take Utah minus the seven. You'll take Northwestern plus the seven. Correct. Uh, okay. Like we, that's, that's perfectly reasonable. I, I don't, I don't think there's really a bad pick on this game. Like it's, I think I mean, it should I, be a lot I, of fun. That, that's where we're different. I just, I think the line is wrong. I think this is a pick 'em game. That's okay. I mean, I really think these are two even teams. I think they had very similar seasons. They lost games they absolutely should have won. They won games that nobody thought they should have won, and they played teams that they didn't. People didn't think they should have been close to to a stalemate. I I think they're they're really even teams. That's okay. I like both of these coaches a lot. I think yeah, Kyle Whittingham real, and, and Cal Pat Whittingham's Fitzgerald. Great. Pat Fitzgerald's have frustrated me to no end in his in-game coaching, but getting his guys ready. Uh, yeah, when, has, whenever has, they are underdogs, he gets them fired. Really done up. well. It's been fired awesome. up. So. I, okay, I'm with you. I, I think this game's going to be a whole lot of fun. Yep. Whole lot of fun.